Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yuzul, the game is Star Trek Online, and welcome once again to Foundry Frolics. It's Friday, the Iconians are back in their box, well, mostly, for the moment, mostly. And after all the excitement of recent months, I figured we needed a routine mission, something to relax, something to unwind. And I was passing Delta Volanis, well, you see it here, a routine mission, let's see what we have. A recently discovered multicolored nebula in the Delta Volanis. Plus, it's been passing signs back at Memory Alpha. They can't find this. So yeah, 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 yeah. They couldn't find an explanation for a malfunctioning vending machine. Uh, that was messy. Tribbles in the circuits. Don't ask. Anyhow, the chief has asked us to send a vessel to the nebula, and guess what? We got picked. Yay us! It might be a simple assignment for a change. Please note that she's wearing a environmental suit purely because that's where I dumped them to make room in my inventory. It's not that she's planning ahead or anything. Then again, maybe she is, who knows. Accept the mission, begin. A routine mission. Course is laid, engage. And here we are, who thinks this is going to be a routine mission? Oh wow, that's a very pretty. And right away we find something interesting, there's Borg debris off on the port side. And no doubt Klingons on the starboard bow, starboard bow, starboard bow. That's just debris, it could be anything. It's the anything that has us worried. My British officers, ladies and gentlemen, they are finally learning. We move forward and see what else is out there. Continue. We can use full impulse to get to our swims quicker, look around see what we can find, and use the comet as a starting point, and it will nearly all be on the right portion of the map. Okay, begin exploring. Scan, scan, scans of debris. What do we get? This was destroyed. Yeah, I'd kind of guess that owing to the fact that it's not intact. Whoever did this was on an equal footing with the Borg, and yeah. Fascinating. Make a note of it in the database and continue with the mission. Let's see. Do we have a multicolored. Ooh, there's a Bing over there. Come on. Where's the Bing? Impulse. There was a bing. Come on, give me the bing. Give me the bing. Where's the bing? There's the bing. Scanning point reached. All stop. And a nebula of many colours. There's nothing here that matches the wings by me. It's not a nebula, is it? We'll need to get closer. Okay, well, I suppose looking around wouldn't hurt. And also, does anyone else know something that's like the colour section? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Radio. And the next one will be... It is fascinating to look at, but try to stay focused. Wouldn't want you to miss anything. Uh, very well, proceed to Bing number two. Toddle, toddle, toddle. Ooh, more pork debris. And all stop, that's why we're here. Helm set a course and scans the anomaly, which, no, that isn't pork debris. It's, well, it's a gravity well. It's a tiny little black hole. What counts as sufficient distance? Three centimeters. Okay, make a note and continue with the mission. Just make sure nobody runs into it, because let's face it, three centimeter safe zone on the singularity, that's, um, well, basically that's a Romulan ship coming to grief, isn't it? What have we got here? The debris is not from the Borg, it's Oh, it's from Neutronium. Uh, okay. Fascinating. Well, get it on board. I'm sure someone will find it. Hmm. Is that a pl is that a planet killer? Did somebody decide to unleash the giant parsnip against the Borg? All right. Let's see. What do we got? Coming to number two. Scan blue. What do we got? More bog debris, strange readings, it's not a sensor glitch, it's never a sensor glitch. Let's go! Oh no, Geronimo! And I saw it too. Ideas, anyone? It's registered on sensors, so no one is on need of sick bay. And it's several kilometers in length. Okay, we may be onto something. Yeah, it's actually a little interesting. Let's get a move on. And what was that? Spontaneous combustion. Right, something caught fire where there's no oxygen. Fascinating. 
Let's let's go. We have more nebula to explore. The Federation must be defended from gaseous anomalies. No wonder Sulu and his mob were going crazy after a year of this. There's something deeper in the nebula. Could be the source of the strange readings. We'll need to get more closer. Well, I really hope it isn't a Borg ship. And yep, everyone else hopes it isn't a Borg ship. Yet here we are to explore, and explore we will. Proceed. There's something in there, and it don't look good. Who are you going to call? Well, Starfleet. Oh wait, no, we're Starfleet. Damn. It's a Borg conduit. Is there anything else? A Borg ship perhaps? Nothing else on sensors, and we could... We sh you want to investigate the Borg conduit? Okay. Oh well, one could only hope. In any case, <laughs> with all due respect, for example, you need help. Hey, you were the one who got enthusiastic about beaming over it. I need help. Am I the only one who's looking for some fun? Uh, apparently, yes, I am. Suit yourself up. We're going over to a Borg facility. We'll try not to get assimilated while we're over there. And here we are in what's left of a Borg base. Okay, well, still some active systems, four consoles to find. Okay. And the Borg just got up and left. Right. And why did the Borg get up and leave? Because that's not like the Borg. There's something odd in the air. A dark secret of the Borg. Or it could just be that the air conditioning is on the fritz, who knows. Let's just hurry this along, shall we? First console's in the room. Okay, continue. And we'll scan... Actually, no, we'll scan the pipe first. Let's see if that gets us some information. No power and long abandoned. And if we scan the tricorder, or rather scan the console with the tricorder, we've got... It was never part of their primary network. It required more power. Ah, right. So they wanted eight chevrons on this one. Uh, still no firefight. Uh, yes, but... Oh, uh, well. Okay, what's... Ooh, interesting rock formation over here. Examine the wall. I was wondering the same thing. It was... Okay, so they must have... Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. If you've already got a perfectly good wall, why bother's borging it up? Because, you know, they're the Borg and, well, that's what they do. Still, what do we got here? Looks like some squish drones, maybe? What's this? And, okay, it's hard vacuum past there. Righty-ho, not squished drones, then. Okay. Ooh, shiny crystals. These aren't Borg, are they? Borg Crystal Farm? Did the Borg make them? I don't know, but they'd make nice souvenirs. Scans the crystal. Okay, they're almost perfect in molecular structure. Maybe it's an experiment. Make a note of it, move on, and if anyone does want to grab some souvenirs, for God's sakes, don't look anywhere near nanoprobes or, let me see, the ship's computer, organic, in fact, just don't take them at all. Chances are it usually ends badly. What is this thing? It's a special container of some kind. What's it supposed to hold? Containment emitters, other secretary, oh uh, right, Omega. Yeah, that'll be an Omega reactor of some kind, won't it? Fascinating, but we should proceed with our mission. Also, nab the design while you're at it. Ooh, we can get closer here. Scans the object. What have we got? And nope, nothing to find out there. Right, our uh, next stop, what is it? An anomalous energy reading. Uh, you had me alarmed there for a second. Let's get to that console. Where's the anomalous energy reading? Okay, I didn't want this to be useful. Yeah, but it was a silly question. Move on. Don't even need to say anything. What's the strange sound? 
Oh, hello, Captain Ansgar. Oh, very funny, cute. Uh, sorry? Yes, we have. He's up to his games again. And yes, odd he usually turns people into Undine. Anyhow, where am I? You're probably back on space dock, mate. Note to self, don't tick off the omnipotent interdimensional beings. At least, not more than is funny. Use tricorder. Um... Cool, do it again! Yep, he's fine. <laughs> Some kind of overload, and okay. I'll see if we can get this. This is, this is a way party, go ahead. Yeah, we're fine. You missed out on some fun over here. That means we're fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Leander acknowledges secondary explosions. I didn't. I didn't cause that big a bang. And okay, understood. Away team out. And the day just got interesting. So we didn't get more, enough information. Okay, more rumbling. Right, get moving. Explodey Borg base is bad, especially when it's on an asteroid. Okay, well, we'll need to clear it. Lucky us, then we shall proceed. Removes the debris by hand. I don't suppose the rest of you are going to help? Nope, fine. It can't be that heavy. I, I think we should walk around. Absolutely. Couldn't we just have phased it? Ugh. Anyhow, what's through here? Ah, another scanny thing of interest. What's this? Well, something just exploded again. And we should move on then, because we can't even work out what it was for. And the ship is still exploding. Oh, good. I nearly lost my face with the last one. Access to the console. I'm standing way too close in case it... Yay, no explosion. And the conduit, yep, it was, uh, what was it, 8th chevron? ninth chevron? Ah, uh, who knows. The interesting thing is that the Borg did not build it. Okay, so... Was this a trap for the Borg? Were they trying to hook into somebody else's transport network? Okay, phaser should be able to do the trick. Very well, readying my phaser. Onwards we go, and... Oh, terrific. Is that all? And we have seven minutes at most. Away team out. I am, actually. After all, what's... Anything to do with science when it, um, there isn't a time lift and things exploding and burning? Okay, what else have we got? Through here, round we go. Anyway, we all brought environmental... Oh, wait, no, we didn't bring environmental suits, did we? Oops! That was a mistake. Okay, now what do we got? Aha! Here we are, console scanned and deemed safe. Acknowledge and use the tricorder. We have approximately six minutes of air remaining. I thought you said it was safe. Beam us out. I suppose we can come back and deal with it when the plasma fires have been extinguished for lack of anything to burn. Like oxygen, bulk technology, Starfleet officers, stuff like that. Okay, we got on time and that was another explosion. Something's causing all the sustained explosions and start by scanning around the conduit. We'll need to find evidence for the crazy space monks who are doubtless causing all of this. Okay, they're quite sporadic, and the content's not in place. Righty ho, what about the data? It may take some time to analyze. Yay us! Right, let's go find some more anomalies. Scans the asteroid. Is there anything left? And it's, well, it's burning. Okay, well, we can always come back later on. It's still a very pretty molten lump of rock, though, but we need to leave it to its own devices for the moment to yellow. Whether it be Pokemon or not, we're not sure. Anomalous reading? Yep, proceed. Let's investigate the anomaly. Scan, scan, scan the anomaly. Oops. Scan, scan, scan the anomaly. What have we got? More anomalous readings and they're not a danger to the ship. 
However, when we came to the console, the one that blew up, the, the fun one, yes, that one, it caused a feedback loop and then it proceeds to self destruct and send Anomaly into a frenzy and then it all blew up and what's just happened? It's a Borg cube and it's derelict. Derelict? Well, that's no fun. Let's go. Find us some dead Borg. Or dead cube. Or dead Borg on a dead cube. Or dead Borg on a live cube. Or live Borg on a dead cube. Those last two might be a little bit awkward. All stops, scans the anomaly, or other scans a dead cube. What's left of it? And yep, we shall indeed. We're getting a bad case of ADD here, but there we go. Scans the derelict cube. Ram the derelict cube. Well, it got very good resolution on the sensors, and the cube is barely holding together. The sensor three pits have blown up the anomalies as well. Okay, the Borg became attracted to the conduit. They wanted to assimilate it. Turned out, then they tried to open it, and then they broke it, and then they shut it down again. Okay, great. There's something worse than the Borg. Anything else? Okay, and this is just preliminary findings, and it's unclear why the Borg legged it. Maybe it's the anomalies. Perhaps, but we will need to take the data back to Mary FM. Why haven't they come back? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Anything else? Nothing else. Very well. Helm set a course out of here. What about the nebulous colour scheme anyway? It's just how it formed. Ah, more unanswered questions. Good times. Very well. Helm, lay a course out of here and we need to get some way from the nebula before we do it. Agreed. You know what to do, Helm. It's not over yet. Knowing our luck, clears the nebula. Dump to impulse, and it's a Federation starship. Okay, Helm, plot an intercept course. It's never a Federation starship when they shot like this. Fighters away, let's get everything out into space. Right, the USS Penumbra, eh? Just give us a little squirt of impulse. We're being hailed. Leander 9th, yes, and you are of the USS Penumbra. That's fine. Procedure requires that we authenticate those orders. And everything checks out. Alright, give him what he wants. Borg Conduit, you're welcome. And, well, Section 31 can have their fun. Just doing our jobs. Number out. Aha! Uh -huh. So that was interesting and our job's done. It was our kind of exploration. Yeah, absolutely. We weren't getting short. This ray seems suspicious. Of course, the orders are authentic. And um, please tell me it isn't Section 31. They annoy me. Annoying little buggers. Right, so we fulfilled our obligations and now we must do so elsewhere. And that ends the routine mission. So our next one is the unsung mission. So, complete the bonus objective. Um, okay, well, we might go for that next time. Bonus objective, scan the penumbra. Well, we'll just cancel for a moment. Let's get a discreet little scan of the penumbra before we move away. Yoink. Oh, what do you know? They're, they're hailing us. Uh, no? Then you better get going then. Let's, let's go and step on some toes. Proceed to our warp out point. Here endeth a routine mission that turned out to be not quite so routine at all. We intend to take this up with high ranking officials at Starfleet Command and a little digging around memory alpha as well. But hey, section 31, oh come on, it's se section 31, they're always involved. But to be continued, ladies and gentlemen, that has been a routine mission for about the third time. And until next week, I have been Yuzul, that has been Foundry Frolics. Farewell.